Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Hi Scorpio, so today we're going to do a reading and uh, this is going to be a, either a general or a love reading. And uh, it could be either or, it usually turns out to be love, yeah, mm-hmm. So uh, we start the reading, uh, uh, Scorpio, and we have this card here, she is, this lady is like, she's kind of like the high priestess, and she's sitting here, definitely, and... Uh, the hierophant is in the back, and he's just kind of, you know, watching her, and she is, like, doing some sort of ritual to understand what is going on uh, in her life, or in order to make changes, or something like that. I feel like you are uh, already the high priestess, and there is something here that you are understanding completely. Yeah, it could be bothering you emotionally. It really could be, because we have this card over here, uh, the five of spades reversed. It can talk about somebody who feels kind of challenged uh, temporarily, emotionally, like could be, somebody, something could be bringing you down here because you have the thunderbolt and the experiencing card is next to it. Like you are experiencing a tower at this moment. You could, you could be thinking things are working out for you right now, Scorpio. I feel like you're probably dealing with somebody here who is maybe taking a chance on like Another relationship, possibly, because the Innocence card is here, and this is the Fool. This talks about new ventures uh, mm -hmm, uh, in the Lover's Deck. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles is here. You could be concerned with holding on to material wealth while all this maybe is happening. It just depends. Uh, we also have the Wheel of Fortune. They call it the Destiny card here. So you could be thinking here that... Uh, maybe this is destiny. Maybe like this was supposed to happen. Interesting here. I mean, I could be uh, seeing this a little bit different than it is, but uh, it's a general read anyway. But my point is, Scorpio, we're going to find out right now with these uh, with these cards, with these uh, tarot cards. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you guys are all well here. And let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. But uh, I can tell you one thing, Scorpio. This is what you have. And don't for ever forget that you have... Uh, whatever you, whatever kind of a, a scrape you're in, right, mm -hmm. you know, or, you know, if you get into a jam, right, uh, regardless of how you got there, you just remember that you can trust your intuition at all times because you are the high priestess, right? We also have uh, the magician here. I forgot what they call him. Maybe they call him the master, but he is uh, the sorcerer who is in this, uh, he's in his workshop here, uh, the skull is here, and the spell book, and he's doing, uh, he has this person kind of in this beaker, in this uh, test tube, yeah, he has this real live person in a test tube, and he is cooking the test tube, OMG, right, and, uh, you know, heating it, but you could feel like somebody put you into a test tube, like you weren't living your natural life, or maybe they felt like that. It's a possibility, uh, because it's definitely about you and somebody else. Somebody could have felt real stuck, possibly. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, stuck maybe in a relationship. Let's see what we have, Scorpio. Eight of Wands reversed, Ten of Swords reversed, Wheel of Fortune. This could be, you know, there could be a Sagittarian here with this Destiny card over here because that speaks to Sagittarius sometimes. We have the Ace of Cups. <coughs> okay. So in the heart of the matter, Scorpio, I feel like you feel like you are being blocked by somebody here. Or some great changes are going to come that you maybe you don't like. And that can be... That can be seen as a blockage, right? Something that, you know, you don't like at all, like kind of in your way. Uh, somebody could be rebuilding with somebody, or maybe you feel like you are being blocked by rebuilding with somebody here. Rebuilding your relationship. But you have this Thunderbolt card next to the Experiencing card, like you're experiencing the tower. Let's see, let's get another card here. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is... Uh, challenging, very challenging. The chariot card, yeah, somebody's having victory here. The hangman, mm hmm. You could be feeling like you can't stop a journey, you can't prevent somebody from going on some type of a journey, or they have a victory. And I feel like you are being enlightened right now. The hangman, because you have uh, the spiritual 
the spiritual lady here, and I uh, forget her name, but she is just the high priestess. That's what she is there. I feel like that is you there. Uh, going through an epiphany right now, understanding the death card. Yeah, you understand that this is over. You're understanding that your relationship is over with somebody. Or that it's time for you to end it. Maybe you are rebuilding with somebody here. Possibly. But this is your soul reading. So it could still be switched. It could be a story, uh, right? You could switch the characters in this reading for sure. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune showing up here. Let's get a card on the Wheel of Fortune. King of Pentacles. This could be a Sagittarian with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And this could be fate or destiny. That's it. It doesn't always have to be any Sagittarian here. Uh, but there could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, right? Let's get another card. Judgment. Yeah, wow. I feel like somebody's making a decision here, and you were expecting this, or you were, like, kind of knowing this. Yeah, intuitively. That's why you're showing up here as this high priestess. Yes, you're trusting your intuition, and you know... Uh, that your person, I believe, is making a decision or somebody's making a decision asking your person to return or to have a, a reconciliation with them. The Emperor Reverse, this could be making you feel like, uh, kind of like, like you don't have control over a situation. It could be maybe challenging your will a little bit. I don't mean your will to live. I don't mean like that, but maybe your will a little bit, right? Where, you know, sometimes when we feel really challenged, we feel we don't feel so strong, so our will may not be that strong. Let's see, we have the Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you could be fighting with somebody right here, possibly. I feel like you are trying to resist this. I feel like this. I feel like your person might have a new beginning. We have the Death card and the Ace of Cups here, and here you are, very challenged. You could be fighting your with your person, or you could be just really resisting it. On, I don't know, on whatever whatever that means to you, right? And the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you don't. I feel like you don't really want to be single. I feel like you don't want to be without this person. Like you don't want this to end. Ace of Swords reversed, Six of Wands. This can talk about energy that is falling away or falling off, kind of, like becoming the past energy. Uh, this can be a breakup sometimes. The Ace of Swords reversed can talk about, sometimes it can talk about a lie. Or it can talk about the fact that somebody has already made a decision. Somebody could have lied in the past that they had victory with somebody else. Knight of Cups. You could feel like you don't have, like, maybe in the past you felt like you didn't have the truth. The Empress. Yeah, this is about some third-party Empress. Pretty sure here. That could be a Libra or maybe a Taurus. Especially with this King of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Can be. Doesn't have to be. So maybe some Scorpios are dealing with air signs or, you know. It's possible that this wasn't clear to you in the past. Yeah, but it is very clear now. Here you are uh, receiving an epiphany, I believe. We have the Ten, ten of Pentacles or in your Enlightenment. Here, the Ten of Pentacles and the Fool, this is coming soon. This person is, we have the Fool over here, and this is New new Ventures. Mm -hmm. And here is the Fool here. This person is taking a chance on somebody. Like, it's coming, it's like it's around the corner. Mm -hmm. I feel like you are fighting for, you're fighting for this relationship. I feel like you are. It could be a marriage. And here we see the competition, like we see the competition ending. I don't know if your person was seeing somebody, but I feel like 
uh, they could be returning to somebody from their past or something like that. They don't. It doesn't mean that they were really seeing them. It just means that maybe they have contacted them or they ran into them or something like that. We have the four of pentacles in the star card. Yeah. And this is how somebody could be affecting you. I feel like you've been trying to hold on to this person. You could be trying to hold on to your money right now. We see the Four of Pentacles over here, known as the Four of Coins. And uh, the Star card is showing up because this person has some type of a new beginning with somebody, and I feel like you are trying to hold on to the money. You could be uh, coming to the point, maybe not now, but uh, maybe if you accept this ending with somebody, right, you could be saying, well, I want to hold on to some money. Could be Strength card showing up. And uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles here, and this can sometimes talk about a relationship that has abundance right here. The Strength card, the Knight of Wands, this is uh, possibly how you are affecting somebody. They might have the courage to do this. Maybe they didn't in the past. I mean, the fool is here. Sometimes it talks about newfound courage. We have the page of pentacles reversed. Mm -hmm. This is how you are affecting them. I just feel it doesn't have to be exactly like that. But this person here, this is this person's energy, this courage card. This person, whoever they are, they have courage. Yeah, to go after somebody. Maybe somebody they think is their destiny. Because the Wheel of Fortune is here, and this Destiny card is over here. And the hopes and fears for you, Scorpio, Two of, Pentacle, Two of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. And this is the same person that's over here, the Knight. The King is over here. This is probably your person, this Earth sign. I feel like in your hopes and fears, you could be saying to yourself, there's nothing I can do. Because here's the woman, Two of Swords, and her... Uh, She's watching these two men fight. Like, I don't know who the winner's going to be. Like, like I don't have any power over this. I've already given up my swords. You could just be thinking, I don't have any power. There's nothing I can do about it. We have the Six of Swords reversed and the Justice card. And this is in the outcome. You could be really frustrated right now about, about your marriage, maybe, with Justice. And this can be this person is returning to somebody. Six of Swords reversed. Maybe a Queen of Wands right here. Yeah, this Destiny card, this Wheel of Fortune could be a Sagittarian. It could be an Aries. Uh, we have Leo energy here. Let's get one more card uh, on the outcome. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, this is your outcome. This person's returning to somebody. You could be t pouring the cup out like, that's enough. I I'm, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. Like, you could be. And this could be them doing that, too. But this is this is uh, where somebody pours somebody's cup out. Like, this is a rejection. Somebody who is, you know, unhappy. That could be you doing that, or that it could be them as well. We're going to end this reading, though. Uh, um, excuse me, Scorpio. And uh, good luck to you. I feel like you're going to... I feel like you... Uh, this money is coming up for you twice. The Four of Coins twice. We have Justice. You might be going to court to keep money. Yeah, you could be. Because you could be... Uh, this could be ending a union, a marriage, maybe. Nine of Pentacles where you're going to be single. Um, and so you could be focusing on your money uh, when this is... Maybe moves a little bit more, you know. As time goes by, you could be just saying, I feel like you are now. Uh, but anyway, good luck to you guys. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. And uh, new year, new attitude, Scorpio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.